As Deep Concrete 5 has been released, it includes five modules for the design of concrete columns, concrete beams, concrete or masonry bearing walls, one-way slabs, and this new module on the concrete shear wall design. This is Javier Encinas, and this is a brief overview of the most important features and capabilities of this new version of ASDIP Concrete 5. Let's get started. I have prepared an example of each module to illustrate how they work. Let's go with a concrete column. Here at the left, in the geometry tab, we enter the dimensions of the columns, and then the reinforcement. It supports either rectangular column or round columns as well. At the bottom, we specify the slenderness uh, information, the length of the column, and the K factor in each direction. Also, if the column is sway or non-sway. In the materials tab, we enter the concrete and the reinforcing steel information. In the loads tab, the column can be uniaxial or biaxial. For each case, two types of loads can be entered. One is the pre-combined loads, or a nominal set of load cases, and the program will combine them internally. Here, the slenderness effects are taken into account. The second order moments are accounted for by the moment magnification method in the ACI. We click on show parameters, then here are all the variables involved in the moment magnification method. In the right pane, the at a glance tab shows a summary of the results. Then in the condensed tab, we see a more detailed set of calculations, the amplified factor loads. Here, the moment strength, the design codes, and the materials. If we go to the detail tab, a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with exposed formulas and references to the ACI code, the amplified factor loads, in the moment strength. And if we go to the diagrams tab, graphically we can see the interaction diagram. These points represent the loads acting on the column. This is the biaxial interaction diagram, which is also dynamic and can be moved. Let's go back to the project manager. In this new version, there are a couple of new features. We go to the design option in the menu, import column from ETAPS. So now the program can import the information from ETAPS directly. In addition, this new feature, import columns from Excel. That means that the program can now import the information from an Excel spreadsheet. So you need to populate the spreadsheet with the information from your analysis program, and then as the concrete can read that information directly. Let's run an example on that. I have prepared an example here. So as the concrete has imported all this information from the Excel spreadsheet, from here we can open any of the columns like that, or we can just perform the column batch design. And in this case, the whole set of columns will be designed just with a click of a button. Let's open now an example of a concrete beam. Here at the top, we select the beam type, either rectangular, T, spandrel beam, inverted T, or L-shape. The program supports up to five spans and two cantilevers. Graphically, the program looks like that. So the, in this case, we are modeling a three-span continuous beam with these uh, uniform and concentrated loads. The program generates the shear and moment diagrams. Also, the program can show the shear capacity and the moment capacity for comparison purposes. If we go to the loads tab, the program supports uniform, variable, concentrated, or moments. If we go to the reinforcement tab, here you enter the information regarding the rebars. The program also can design the beam. Just click on this button. It runs the design manager, where you can design your beam just with a click of a button. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's run now an example of a concrete or masonry bearing wall. In this case, we are modeling a, a masonry wall. It can be also a concrete wall. So we here we specify the, the thickness, the type of uh, block wall. In this case is eight inches block. And then the reverse number four at 16. Here at the bottom, we specify the variables related to the slenderness effects. The program also can model an opening in the wall and design the reinforcement. Here in the load tab, you specify the load cases, dead, live, roof life, snow, wind, and seismic. Here in the diagrams, the program generates the shear, moment, and actual diagrams. If we go to the interaction tab, the program generates interaction diagram for this masonry wall. 
Let's go back to the project manager. Let's open now an example for a one-way slab. In the geometry, we specify the slab thickness and then the number of spans. Here in the reinforcement tab, there are the, the controls required to specify the rebars in this one-way slab, top bars and bottom bars. Also, the program can design the one-way slab for you just with a click of a button running the design manager. In the at glance tab, a summary of the results. In the condensed tab, a more detailed set of calculations. In the detail tab, an even more detailed set of calculations with exposed formulas and references to the ACI code. In the graph tab, we can see the shear and moment diagrams for this one-way slab. Let's go back to the project manager. And now let's run an example for a shear wall. This is a new module in this version 5. At the left, in the geometry tab, we specify the size of this wall for both the wall web and for the boundary members. In the load tab, here we enter the load cases, actual force P, moment MX, and shear in, in Y. Also, the program considers the seismic provisions from ACI. In the at a glance tab, we can see a summary of the results, the shear strength, the boundary members design check, here the interaction diagram, and here the wall strength for all load combinations, showing that every, everyone is passing in this example. In the condensed tab, we can see a more detailed set of calculations, sardium factor loads, the interaction diagram. Here is the wall strength. Here is the shear strength design, the boundary members design check. We go to the detail tab. We see a more detailed set of calculations with references to the ACI code. All the formulas are exposed. It's the flexural strength. Here is the shear strength. The shear strength includes the maximum probable bending moment so that the design is ductile. This is the boundary members design section. We go to the diagrams. We can see the interaction diagram. These are the most critical loads, very close to the limit. The program also shows a plan view of the uh, shear wall. This is a detailed view of the boundary members, reinforced with this number of rebars, and the wall web is reinforced as shown here with all these cross ties. As you can see, this new version of ASDIP Concrete 5 includes five modules that are very useful in your uh, design practice. If you like the software, please download the free 15-day trial visiting the website www.asdipsoft.com. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.